Howdy, folks. I'm Bob Schaub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Today Bob. we're going to cover whether or not your neck, shoulder, or chest muscles are mm. tight. Quite often, if they are tight, that does correlate with pain. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you don't have pain yet, you may be developing pain. <laughs> or if you already have pain, it may be because the muscles have tightened up on you. So, yeah. let's start off with the neck, Brad. Sure. So, the neck... First off, you want to actually check. This one's not tight on most people, but mm -hmm. chin to chest. Sure. So you're going to go all the way down like this, and you're going to find some people that can only go a little ways, and they're tight. And that's often tightness in the upper neck. Sure. Again, good posture before you start yes, this. Yes, good posture. Next one is ex neck extension. How far do you go back? Now, the vast majority of people I see are tight in this area. Right. And they don't even know it. They go, well, how far is it supposed to go? Right. You're supposed to be able to get way, 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 way back. I went to a course, and I was shocked how far they got my neck to go back. <laughs> yeah. Pain without pain. Yeah, without pain. Right. Uh, rotation. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate to the right, rotate to the left. Now, you may need to film this, or you may need a partner to look at you and say, right. yeah, Quite often, though, you can tell. Yeah. Well, just make sure that your shoulder and trunk stay stationary yeah. and you're not doing this. Right. So just head rotation, isolated. I always kind of look down and see of my nose, my chin, where it lines up with my shoulder on one side relative to the other. Like I said, it's a little deceiving sometimes. Mm -hmm. It'll feel tight, but it's not as tight as the other side. Yeah. But Next one is side bending. And I want you to do a little bit of a chin tuck before you do this one. Yeah, because I don't want you to go like this, have your head forward, and then try to side bend. Yeah. Actually, tuck your chin back. Nice and straight. And then side bend. And you can kind of, you could take your uh, fingers and d determine how far you're side bending by measuring. That's yeah. a little difficult. If you go into a mirror, a mirror right. probably is the best indication, one side to the other. All right, let's go to shoulders. Now, shoulders, we can show you two ways. Again, you could have someone to watch you. You could have do it in front of a mirror. You could film yourself. And we're going to show you a way to even do it uh, against the wall. Yeah. So let's first start out with shoulder flexion. You're going to actually just bring the shoulder straight forward so it grazes your ear and go up as high as you can. So we're not doing this. Right. This part has to stay stable. Good. Start with good posture too. Don't don't do this because this makes a big difference. Right. This will, this will limit your pot, your shoulder range of motion. Right. In fact, so. if you're limited limited in your posture, we may have you work on your posture to help improve your shoulder motion. Exactly. So that shoulder flexion, you can do both sides, and you should almost be able to see. Um, yeah. We're going to show you against the wall later because in case you want to uh, monitor your progress. Yeah, it's a very simple technique. We'll Shoulder show you. abduction. So you're going to go out to the side now. So same thing. Got my wide wingspan here. And watch your palm. Keep your palm consistent. So we're going palm. You know, you can go palm down or thumb up. Yeah. If you go thumb up on one side, go thumb up on the other side. So right. you're consistent. And ideally, you want to get right to that ear. Yeah, uh, see, so yeah. But you're going to find, yeah, uh, you're tight on the left. I, 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 I can touch there, and that's about it there. And Brad, uh, coincidentally, has had trouble with that left yeah, shoulder. This left shoulder's been an issue. It's a problem, child. So, <laughs> next one shoulder internal rotation. So, with this one now, what you're doing is you're going to see how far up your back you can reach. So you can maybe use your shoulder blade as a guide. There you go. Or maybe even along your back. But I, it's probably your shoulder blade that's the best, isn't it? Like I'm yeah. – how many inches from my shoulder blade right now? Yeah. And, I, you know, if you got someone with you that wants to be these behind things, put your, uh, put your thumb right up the middle of your back. And then that's where I usually go with my patients, and I go mark it there with a piece of tape, or I'll just hold it. Oh, look at that. Bob can go – Way up Does high. it feel like you're tighter on the right? No, I I did this. Uh, I made it up. You oh, all. Yeah. So there you go. I go up higher yeah. on this one. Too. All right. 
So, so that's a that's a nice way yeah. to get that in. So, range Brad, motion. you want to show flexion and abduction against the wall with sure. a piece of tape? So, I'll, I got a piece of tape here, so you can see it's nice and pink. But whatever you have at home is fine. And get up about a foot away from the wall, and you're just going to reach up. And without doing this and compensating, keep right. the posture up just as high as really you can. Good posture. And there we go. That's my right hand. You can put an R on there if you want. And then you reach up, and maybe I only go this high with my left. And you may want to put a piece of tape there. And then you stretch for a week, and then you go back, leave the tape up there. And I've done this with patients, so they can, you can see. Yeah. Now maybe I can go to here, and my left one all of a sudden has you know, loosened up, and you get even range of motion. Yeah, quite so, often, people don't know they're making gains, yeah. and they, they realize... And same with abduction, yeah, right, Brad? So, uh, you know, up this way, well, I can get up to here. Again, don't tilt your body or yeah. contort your body oh. to try to get up there. And Keep your body straight. Uh, maybe this one only goes this high now, but right. after stretching for a week or two. And you know, as Brad said, try to keep your palm the same way. If you're going thumbs up yep. or thumbs forward right. or whatever you're doing. So. That's, that's important. All right, is your chest muscles tight? Um, let's talk oh. about, so we got the pectoralis major and we got the pec minor, which you don't really need to know, but no. we'll show you some of the tests. Um, basically, we're gonna, also we got the upper fibers of the chest and the lower fibers of the chest. So let's just show some of these yeah. things here. Yeah, yeah, the fibers and the names yeah, of the yeah. muscles is, you know, if you wanna learn it, that's fine. You don't need to. One thing, as you just stand here, you can stand with good posture and see what your thumbs are doing. If your thumbs are pointed straight forward, that's a good sign. Oh. But if your muscles, your pec is a bit tight, your thumbs may be actually be turned in like right. this or the palms facing backwards. Very common. Yep. And weightlifters, guys who bench a lot, they're, they're like this. Right. You know, and that is one of those things. It could be the shoulder. It might be some other structures, too. So uh, that's just one of the things you can check and, right. and see. All right, Brad. Why don't we show the lower fibers first if you want to lie, lie down. So you, this probably works better on, a, like, a carpeted floor. Right. It absolutely would work better on uh, a floor. On a bed, it doesn't work so good. So but for the lower fibers. The lower fibers, we actually just go straight out like this. And you should be able to get your hand, your arm all the way down. Someone who's tight may be able to go this far on one side right. and the other side's all the way down. Yeah. It is one of those things you can always compare one side to the other. Right. And if they're both tight and the hill will go like this, well, you got two tight shoulders. You got a problem. So for the lower fibers, you actually want to go about 120 degrees. What would that be, a Y, Brad? Yeah, it's like the YMCA. So... Now, this is a good example here. Brad is not able to get his arms all the way down. They're both a problem. Yeah. Both a problem. Yeah, it's a, it says one of my things. <laughs> so he's, his pec, lower fibers of the pectoralis major are tight. So you can also put your hands behind your head like this, and you should be able to get your elbows all the way down. And the same thing, Brad seems to be worse now on the left. Yeah. That's my problem. You are a problem, Jeff. Yeah, that so. hurts too. I don't like this. <laughs> so, all right. So, um, so the pec minor is very simple. You just lie down on your back, and you should be able to get your shoulder blades flat. If you're tight, you're going to have one of these shoulder blades. Or one of the shoulders is actually going to be up, like elevated. Yeah. yeah, and that's an exaggeration. Right. But you're kind of tight on this side, right? Yeah, but, uh, yeah. This back. we really need to be on a firm surface. Even this soft surface, I sink in too much for. This is where test. I have found it actually works against the wall sometimes. Yep, you actually I agree. lean against the wall, and you should be able to get the shoulders back. Yeah. Am I on this, Brad? Pretty good. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So um, that's just indicated because we are going to show how to do a stretch for the pec minor, yeah. and a lot of times it's. You can't just isolate the pec minor with the other stretches. Right. Things cross over a little bit. You'll get them loosened We're going to try, though. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Check out our rest of the videos. we we'll just show you how to stretch these areas. What areas? Neck. Oh, chest, yeah. The ones we went over. Upper back. Yeah. Well, what's that piece of tape doing on the wall? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> We're really Just kidding. Guy.